In this video, we will prove that for any real numbers a and b, a dot zero is equal to zero and a b product is equal to zero implies that a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. Firstly, we will prove a dot zero is equal to zero. By using the property of additive inverse, we can write a dot zero equal to a multiplied by one plus minus one. By using definition of subtraction, we can rewrite it as a multiplied by one minus one. By using distributive law, we can write a dot one minus a dot one. From property of multiplicative identity, a dot one can be written as equal to a. So we get a minus a. By using definition of subtraction, we can write a minus a as a plus minus a. By using property of additive inverse, we can write a plus minus a equal to zero. Thus, we have proved that a dot zero is equal to zero. Now we will prove that a b product is equal to zero implies that a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. Now coming towards its proof, it is given that a b product is equal to zero. Suppose a is not equal to zero, then one by a exists. Since we know that inverse of every non zero real number a exists and is of the form one by a. Let it be named as equation number 1. Now by multiplying equation 1 by 1 by a, we get one by a multiplied by a b product equal to one by a multiplied by zero. Now by using associative law of multiplication we get under bracket 1 by a multiplied by a bracket close multiplied by b equal to 1 by a multiplied by 0 by using property of multiplicative inverse we get by property of multiplicative inverse 1 by a multiplied by a will be equal to 1 multiplied by b equal to and any real number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 so here we will get 0 by using the property of multiplicative
identity by property of multiplicative identity one multiplied by b will be equal to b and we get b equal to 0 thus if a b product is equal to 0 and a is not equal to 0 then b is equal to 0 similarly it may be shown that if a b product is equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0 then a is equal to 0 hence a b product is equal to 0 implies that a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 which is required proof